Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. In our previous lesson, we examined the size, ownership and regional distribution of the manufacturing sector during the post derg period. Students, in today's lesson, we will discuss the performance of the industrial sector. Let's start the discussion by defining the measures or performance indicators of the industrial sectors. Gross value of output, GVO, is one of the performance indicators. It refers to the total value of industrial output produced during a given period of time before subtracting the value of intermediate goods used up in production. In other words, GVO is the sum of industrial GDP and intermediate consumption. Students, GVO can be measured at market prices or at factor cost. Let's define GVO at market price and at factor cost. Gross value of output at factor cost is equal to gross value of output at market price minus indirect business taxes, abbreviated as IBT, plus subsidies, abbreviated as S. Students, now let's define value added at factor cost, value added at current market price, and value added per person employed. The value added at factor cost, abbreviated as VAFC, is equal to GOV at market price minus indirect taxes plus subsidies minus the value of intermediate goods. Alternatively, value added at factor cost is simply the gross value of output at factor cost minus the value of intermediate goods used. Value added at current market price, abbreviated as VACMP, is value added at factor cost plus indirect taxes minus subsidies. In other words, it's equal to the gross value of output at current market price minus the value of intermediate goods used. Finally, value added per person employed, abbreviated as VAPPE, is the ratio of value added during a given period of time to the number of people employed during that period. Thus, it is a measure of labor productivity. Students, now it is time to do the first activity. I want you to individually calculate value added at factor cost and value added at current market price in large and medium scale manufacturing subsector in 2005.
students, have you done the activity? Well, let's do it again. Value added at factor cost, VAFC, is equal to gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. Thus, VAFC equals 10,210.93 minus 199.4 minus 10.5 plus 1.03 all values in millions of USD. VAFC is equal to 10,002.06 million USD. Value added at current market price is equal to GVO minus intermediate consumption plus indirect taxes minus subsidies. Thus, it is 10,210.93 minus 199.4 million, which is equal to 10,011.53 million US dollars. Students, you already know from previous lessons that the share of the industrial sector in Ethiopia's GDP has been below 14%. Therefore, let's proceed to the contribution of the major components of the industrial sector. Before that, I want you to take note of what you observe from the following table about the trends in the share of the subsectors of the industrial sector. Thank you. 
students? Did you all attempt the question? Very good. Let's now analyze it together. The contribution for GDP of large and medium-scale manufacturing industries declined for the three decades, which is from the year 1980 to 2008. The share of small-scale and handicrafts showed marginal increment during the last two decades of that period and then declined thereafter. The share of construction has shown an increment after the 1991-92 reform. Also, the share of the other subsectors, including mining and quarrying, water, and electricity, has increased after the reform. Students, the graph which I'm going to show you in a moment shows the trend in GVO of large and medium manufacturing subsector since the reform period. In the periods you see on the screen, the GVO of large and medium scale manufacturing subsectors showed an increasing trend. Its GVO increased from less than 2 million burr in 1991-92 to more than 7 million burr in 1998-99. During this period, this subsector grew at about 20.5%. The major contributors to the gross value of output, or GVO, of the large and medium-scale manufacturing subsector were the food, chemical, non-metal, and metal industrial groups. The smallest share was from the tobacco industrial group. Since the introduction of the economic reform program, the value added at factor cost of large and medium scale manufacturing increased from 336.8 million burr in 1991 92 to 1,982.9 million burr in 1998-99, representing an annual average growth rate of 25.3% during the period. Finally, let's see the performance of the manufacturing sector in terms of value added per person before and after the reform period. Before the reform period, mainly in the 1980s, value added per person employed, or VAPPE, was at an annual average rate of 3.4%. After the reform, value added per person increased. Labor productivity was highest in metal, followed by those of food and leather and shoes. I want you to jot down some of the factors that contributed for the performance improvements in the manufacturing subsector. Discuss in groups.
hope you have listed some of the factors that I'm going to mention soon. Here we go. Some of the factors that contributed for the post Derg period performance include availability of incentives for profits and a relatively conducive environment, active involvement of manufacturing firms, better availability of inputs and spare parts, and recovery of the agricultural sector. Students, in today's lesson, we have discussed the performance of industrial sector using different performance indicators. We have also noted that despite its small contribution to the GDP, the performance of the sector has improved during post dirk period due to the reform program. Students, in the next non-plasma lesson, you will learn more about the performance of the industrial sector. See you next time in another program. Until then, it is goodbye from me. Goodbye.